Sickle cell disease is a genetic hereditary disease. Persons inherit the gene for an abnormal hemoglobin, hemoglobin S. And this results in changes in the red blood cell, the shape of the red blood cell, moving from a nice, smooth, rounded shape to one that is sickle-shaped or banana, as we say in Jamaica, very rigid, very sticky, and has a very short lifespan. Sickle cell impacts the lives of patients on in different ways. The physical effect is impact is one. One of the hallmarks would be painful crisis where the patients have severe bone pain. It impacts them emotionally. It impacts them from an educational point of view. It impacts them from a psychological point of view. The prevalence of sickle cell disease in Jamaica, we have about 10% of the population inheriting the sickle cell gene and we have a further 5% who have other abnormal hemoglobin. CSL's decision to pursue a candidate for the treatment of sickle cell disease is perfectly in line with one of our missions, which is to provide products, medicines, and programs for the treatment of patients with rare diseases in areas such as hematology and immunology. And we've identified uh, sickle cell disease as a disease with uh, severe unmet medical need and the sickle cell disease patients as a population that uh, are lacking treatment options. And clearly sickle cell disease is a lifelong debilitating illness with few available therapies that would benefit from curative approaches. CSL 200 is a gene therapy project that we're developing to treat a disease called sickle cell disease. CSL 200 is, uh, in technical terms, a self-inactivating lentiviral vector that expresses two different components, and this allows us to have a new strategy that will allow us to do in vivo selection of the cells that we're going to be genetically modifying with our treatment. This is a disease for which a decade ago there were few, if any, drugs that were being studied to improve the lives of these patients. This is our, our promise to the patients that we'll do our best work early in the, in the development of these programs. Uh, and uh, hopefully we will be successful and uh, uh, that will allow us to, to offer treatment solutions for sickle cell disease patients around the world. My hope is total elimination. Maybe that's a big hope, but I see through, and I hope through modern methods of therapy, that we'll be able to let them have an easier life and um, one day a cure.